Hey beauties, it's Nikea here with a fluffy Bantu knot out video and some moisturization and detangling for your life. So as you can see here, I am parting the hair into four sections and I'm doing them in triangular sections because this is the way that I would like my hair to fall when I actually do my style. So before I even start detangling or moisturizing, I'm gonna get it set up for my style. And I'm just using my fingers here because the parts really don't matter because you're not gonna see them with the way that my hair will be falling. And it's definitely much easier for me to work in sections because my hair is so thick and full and dense. So here we have the first section. So I'm gonna start by re-moisturizing my hair and I'm gonna start with my Carol Daughters Hair Milk Hair Refresher. This is usually just to refresh curls on the style, but I found that it doesn't work for me in that way. But I do like using it to re-moisturize my hair midweek or in between wash days. And I'm working it into my hair there. My Leave-in is my Raw Shea Butter Restorative Conditioner from Shea Moisture. And this is a part of my LOC method, my lock method. And this method just works for me. I've been using it for quite a few years now. And it keeps my hair moisturized for a long period of time. Even here, as I'm re-moisturizing my hair, it's already moisturized from my previous lock method after wash day but here I'm just detangling with my fingers and separating the strands getting any shed hair out and then I'm going to use my crest comb <laughs> and this comb just works so well when I'm trying to restyle my hair and detangle it in between wash days it gets all the knots out and then my Denman D4 brush, I think this is. D4 or D3. I'm not sure of the letter. Just to go back through it. And my oil. This is an oil blend. It is a mix of vitamin E, jojoba, avocado, almond, and olive oil. And I got this recipe from natural 85 work that into the hair and then my shea butter blend I'm running low but this is a blend with that oil mix that you saw before and some coconut oil which makes it creamy and easier to apply and now I'm just twisting the hair and I'm gonna roll it into a large bantu knot to keep it out of the way as I re-moisturize my other sections of hair And now back at the front and we're just going to do the same thing that I did on the previous section I'm going to moisten the hair with the Carol's daughter hair milk and when I apply this I just want to make my hair damp don't want to soak it but just enough to make the hair more manageable and workable put my leave-in in detangle with my comb and then my Denman brush starting at the ends and then working my way up applying my oil and then I'm going to apply my shea butter which is my cream to seal in all of that moisture because there's no point of putting in moisture if you're not going to seal it in and that's what the lock method does you start with that water based product which water provides the moisture and leave it in and I am going to begin my Bantu not out style with my Cantu Shea Butter Coconut Curling Cream. Now this is my first time using this, but I just noticed that my hair is changing a little bit and it needs a little more assistance as it pertains to styles to really hold a definition the way that I like. So I said, you know, I love Cantu, so I'm gonna try this out. And their products just smell delicious. So I'm starting off with this section on the side and getting a medium sized section I'm going to apply the curling cream all throughout my hair or this particular section of hair working it through and then using my Denman to 
comb or brush the product through and work it into my hair. And as you can see here, I forgot one step, <laughs> but I grabbed my Argan Oil Eco Styler Gel. And I like to do this with my Bantu knots just to smooth the hair strands and to prevent any frizz. So just a little bit goes a long way. Make sure I get it there towards the roots and the ends. And then for my Bantu knots, what I like to do is twist the section of hair first. And this provides extra definition and curl for me. So this is my preferred method of Bantu knot outs. I have not done just twisting the hair in a while. As you can see here, I'm just twisting as a regular two strand twist all the way down. And then when I get to the ends, I will coil that around my finger to get a definition at the end of the hair. So this for me ensures that all my hair is curled as a part of the style. It has definition and my curls are going to be popping. So I twist the twist around my finger to get it taut and then I hold it in place and wrap the hair around itself and tuck the hair in. I've never had to use Bantu knots or rubber, excuse me, not Bantu knots. I've never had to use bobby pins or rubber bands to hold my Bantu knots in. They pretty much hold on their own. So again here we have another section of hair. Just going through and making sure it's detangled so that way you have nice clean sections and my wonderful smelling coconut curling cream and my argan oil eco styler gel separate that into two sections and begin to twist 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 when I start twisting, I just realize how long my hair is and that shrinkage is real. And then as you can see here, slowed it down for y'all, the excess product, I like to squeeze it out because if you have excess product, it's gonna be more difficult for your hair to dry. So I get that out and I can apply it to another section of hair or down towards the bottom of my hair where it needs a little more loving. So again, twisting that around my finger to get it taut and then wrapping the twist around itself and tucking that end in underneath the Bantu knot. So I finished and I'm back at the front here repeating the same steps that you saw in those previous two Bantu knots on the side. And at the front I like to apply some Eker Style Gel to my edges because on my edges I have a little bit of breakage and this is from my hair being weak and shedding after having a baby as well as getting some braids that were pulling on my edges so I wasn't caring for them enough so I'm making sure that they're growing back in healthy but back to the Bantu knot so twisting down getting out any excess product then I'm going to twist the twist around my finger to get it taut and wrap that twist around itself to create my Bantu knot I didn't count how many I had in each section or how many I had all together. I just kind of went with the flow. And some of them are a little smaller than others. Well, that one in the back is. But pretty much same sections. And I'm going to bed with my satin bonnet. And I made sure not to wrap the knots too tight so that way I could sleep peacefully. And here I'm just showing you my shed hair. It's a pretty big ball, but it's getting smaller because I had a lot more shedding. But good night and see you in the morning. Hey, we're bright and early. <laughs> getting ready to go to work. Gonna take these knots down. And here I have the OGX Coconut Milk Anti Breakage Serum. And I put this on my hands to take these knots down and to prevent any frizz. And I'm just in love with the OGX line of oils and moisturization. <laughs> so as you can see, I just pulled the twist, excuse me, pulled the Bantu knot down 
and then I'm unraveling the twist. You can see me checking there to make sure that it's dry. And I'm trying to be gentle and unravel it slowly so that I don't have too much frizz. But I'm also trying to be quick because I gotta go to work. <laughs> and then I'm just going to separate that strand, that section of hair where it naturally wants to separate. Just one good time. And you see how bouncy and fluffy they are? OMGZ. And what I like about my Bantu Not, not Outs is that the first day it seems like I got a cute little taper cut and then as it stretches out, it just gets more voluminous and full. But do you see these lovely juicy curls? And I'm going through with my fingers to just kind of work the parts out. And try not to manipulate too much, but you know, as a natural, it's hard to keep your hands out your head. Then I'm using my rake comb to just lift the roots to give me that fluffiness and fullness. I'm trying to get the hair to lay where I want it to lay. And then we got to shake it, shake it, shake it. <laughs> I find out that that works for me best when I'm trying to get my hair the way I want is to shake it out. And then I'm using OGX Kukui Oil anti frizz hydrating oil and I started using this a few months ago and I just love it so you know don't want any frizz so of course use the anti-frizz oil and there you go you have lovely juicy fluffy bouncy bantu knots and you see my hair is moving it's not stiff even though I use gel all right bye beauties